Well, the United States Office of Government Ethics has instructed Joe Biden's Domestic Policy Council chief, Susan Rice, to divest stock worth nearly $32 million from more than three dozen companies and one index fund that she and her family own. Now, among the holdings are approximately $2.7 million worth of shares of Enbridge, the Canadian oil and gas pipeline company. These holdings have created essentially a tax shelter for Susan Rice. And you can see David's reporting in the Daily Poster up there on the screen. David, break this story down for us, please. All right, this is a, there are two stories here. There's one, ethics regulators have said to Susan Rice, uh, you need to divest uh, from your various corporate holdings, uh, holdings in businesses that have business before the federal government. She is the top uh, White House policy advisor uh, to Joe Biden. Uh, the pipeline investment is important because, of course, the Biden administration recently uh, decided to essentially back Enbridge's controversial Line 3 pipeline while Susan Rice has a personal financial stake in the pipeline company itself. Uh, so a huge conflict of interest. Now, here's the even crazier part. When ethics regulators make such a citation, when they say, hey, there's a problem here, you need to divest, it triggers a special law in the, t in the tax code, which says that when the federal official divests, they then are essentially rewarded with being able to defer the capital gains taxes that they would have to pay. Now, the argument for that is that if federal officials, if the federal government, if the ethics regulators order you to divest because you have a corporate conflict of interest, uh, you sort of, if you're ordered to sell, that the government sort of gives you a tax break to make it, uh, I guess, less painful for you. But I, what I look at this as is, is basically a corruption deduction, a corruption tax deduction, that if you go into government uh, in a job that you know you have a massive corporate conflict of interest because of your financial holdings. If you go into government and the ethics regulators cite you, guess what? You just potentially got yourself a tax windfall had you not uh, divested, had you not gotten, had you uh, not gone into government or had you divested before you got the job. Do you know, if, do you get that uh, tax break if, if you divest on your own? Let's say Susan Rice said, you know what? Owning this, owning these shares in this pipeline company while I'm weighing in or, or, or I may have to weigh in on whether or not we should approve this pipeline for the pipeline company that I'm a part owner of creates an appearance of conflict of interest. So I'm going to divest yeah. of, on my own. Do you, do you get the tax break then or do you have to be ordered to get it in order to trigger? In other words, did she hold this long enough so that it could rise and then uh, get that tr get get that order, which then triggers the, the tax break. What you have to do is get yourself a certificate of divestiture. That's what technically is going on. You go into government, you file your ethics forms, and then the ethics office uh, issues a certificate of divestiture, essentially saying yes, there is a conflict here. You have to do, you have to divest. So it's kind of a chicken or the egg question. The point is, is that if you have these holdings, if you know you have these holdings, you go into government, all you have to do is get yourself a certificate of divestiture from the ethics office and boom, you get to defer capital gains. And I want to be clear, this isn't the first time this has happened. I mean, this became a controversy uh, uh, about a decade or seven years ago with, uh, with uh, Hank Paulson. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, 15 years ago, with Secretary of the Treasury Hank Paulson when he became the Treasury Secretary from Goldman Sachs. Again, the argument is, is that if the government orders you to divest, that you basically, uh, it has to give you something. But again, what it really is in practice happening here is that people who obviously know they have a conflict of interest going into government and getting themselves a tax break. I'm not saying it's necessarily a calculation like that, but clearly everybody knows what's going on. It's so outrageous. David Sirota, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We will be back with more Rising after this.